Gentlemen, good afternoon. I hope you're well. So in this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to launch a token on Basechain. I'm going to show you how to add liquidity, set up the contract correctly, and hopefully it's a pretty good contract. So you're going to be able to launch your own token once you've watched the video. So the first thing you want to do is go to Remix Ethereum. I need to create a new file now, so I'm going to call it shrimps. So if you want this contract, go to the description. There'll be a link in there for a Telegram group called the Shrimps Group. Go into there and you can just copy and paste the contract. Do forward slash shrimps or forward slash base and the contract will come up. And you can just copy it from there. So you'll have exactly what you see on the screen. And what you've got now is go to the top and you want to clear this. You can put your token information in here. So you can put this is a zero tax token or this is a low tax meme coin, whatever. Here you'd put your telegram and you put your website in there. So people that find the contract can actually go and find your group from there. So the first thing you want to do now is search for zero. Uh, we're going to search shrimps and we've got the word shrimp here. And that's our contract name. So I'm just going to add an S to that. You obviously call it whatever you want. And this is the token contract name. So again, we're going to call it shrimps and this is our ticker as well. And now you've done that, what we need to change is our tax. So go to the top and type in your tax. So this is 2%, so you, you might want to put 5% for that. And we might want to put 5% for this. Yeah, liquidity tax, obviously that goes into the liquidity pool. You can have a development fee, so this is like a dev tax, operations fee. That's all tax received to different wallets. So you'll get 1% tax into the operations fee. I tend to use that as a buyback. So you can do that. So you can have a buyback tax. If you don't want that tax, just delete it and put zero. And you'll still have to put your wallets in. Again, this is max transaction. All this can be changed on base chain as well. So you can go through the contract. And this is a swap back setting. So when the tax is swapped to Ethereum, I won't go into too much detail. I'll do a video specifically on how to operate the contract as well. So this is the important part. These are our marketing wallets. So obviously you'd want to change it to your wallets. So we can go here and we can, our marketing wallet is now that. Make sure there's no spaces between the brackets as well because things will mess up. It won't compile correctly and you won't be able to launch a token. Other than that, you're pretty much, you know, you can change your total supply here. So it's one decimal of that. So that's going to be, I think, 100 million. And also, you know, go into there. If you need any support with that, again, join the Shrimps group. But this is pretty much done. Now we have to know what compiler version we're on. So we're on 0810. And what we're going to do is make sure our settings are done correctly. So I want to make sure we've enabled optimization. And solidity default evm as well in our compiler version now we want to just deploy the contract so go here my bad you want to <laughs> you want to connect the one that says shrimp so that's the name of what we called the file and this is what we called it internally everything else won't work correctly so click that and deploy and it's costing around 31 dollars 15 seconds to deploy it's not too expensive. It might come out at $40, but we can check that later on as well. In fact, we'll check it now. So go to here, go to base. And we've got our contract here. So now what we want to do is we want to find our contract address, which is here. And we've got 100 million supply. Everything's good. So if you want to check how much it costs, you can go here, it costs $39. So it's a bit more expensive. I could have put my gray down, but I'll leave it. I don't really care. So we've got our contract again. So now we want to verify it. So go back to here and copy everything. Don't make any changes, otherwise it won't work. And we want to verify our contract now. So go to single file. And it was 810, 0810. Click MIT license. And we want to enable optimization copy that now you want to remove this part here <coughs> excuse me and we want to verify this excuse me and now that's all done so our contract is verified 
we can go back to the contract. That's important because we have to obviously operate the contract and people can see the contract and make sure there's no malicious functions in it as well. So this is important as well because we're going to connect our wallets. And we're going to enable trading once we've added, added liquidity and you're ready to launch. Also, you want to remove limits later on or renounce, etc. Again, I'm going to do a more detailed video on how to change everything. I've done one before. It's pretty, pretty similar as well. So now we want to add liquidity. So we're going to go to Uniswap. There are other pools, other places you can add SushiSwap support it as well. So we want to take our contract address now. And we want to copy that in. So now I suggest you do 1%. You can do any other percent you want. That's the fee you're going to get. And now we're going to type in, click full range. And add that and it will show you how much ETH you want to add as well. So we're going to add 0 0.1 into liquidity. You can obviously play with this and set it accordingly. How much LP you want to add per tokens. You might not want to add all the tokens, but I suggest adding all of it as well. So we're going to approve that and we're going to preview it. And then our liquidity should be added. We're going to enable trading. We're going to do some buys and I'll show you how to find it on Dex Tools. Dex screen shows up later on once trading has sort of started. So I suggest, you know, practicing a few times as well with this contract um, or contracts in general. Because what you don't want to do is be bumbling about when you've got a group of people waiting. So our contract is now LP added again we're going to go back we're going to enable trading now so we're just going to write that function and now people can potentially buy the contract I don't think anyone will but again we're going to put it onto next screen now make sure you don't click rocket swap you click the uni swap one or wherever you've added and our token should have our liquidity in there now so we can go ahead and we can simulate a buy now. So we're going to add 0 0.01. And we're going to purchase now. And fingers crossed that should be it, really. So we'll go ahead and we'll check everything works. Again, always practice the contract, get familiar with it. Practice on BSC or a cheaper chain if you don't want to spend $30. But our swap successful and um, we've had our buy i think that's just my buy going through there so everything works you know pretty well so we're gonna you know let's see if we can sell i'm not the greatest fan of uniswap sometimes it's very buggy you have to refresh it especially on mobile. So we're going to approve that transaction. We're going to sell it and make sure everything works fine. The wallet that I'm buying from is the dev wallet. So I wouldn't suggest buying and selling from a dev wallet, but because it will flag up as, you know, the dev is selling on Dex tools or, or other places as well. And also it's exempt from tax, I believe in this contract. So if you are, you know, essentially selling, then it probably, you know won't get any tax into the marketing wallet so other wallets have to buy so i've successfully sold so i don't have any tokens now so i hope you've enjoyed the video giving you an insight on how to launch on base chain if you have any questions join the shrimps group below i'm always there so if you need any help me or the team will be able to help you